cool. One, Tori, where are we right now? We're on someone's truck. We don't know whose truck this is. Actually, I do, but I don't know him personally. So, like, we got to make this quick. We got to make this snappy. All right, so what What does he have on his truck there? An American flag. Oh, oh my American. goodness. He's quite the patriot. Yeah, who else is patriotic? Ben Franklin. Ben Franklin. What did Ben Franklin do? Wrote an essay. No, he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, he didn't, Tori. He didn't write it. I mean, he might have, but, like, that's not what he's known for. But, like, other than that, why are we patronizing, ooh, patriotic, patronizing Ben Franklin today in our show? Because we want everyone to write a Ben Franklin essay. Not everyone, just juniors. So you get to write one. Oh, I can go write a Ben Franklin essay. Does it have to be about Ben Franklin? I think it's about a quote, but you know what? You know what? What? Miss Dunstan can tell us more about that. Oh, yes, Miss Dunstan. Thank you so much. So let's go check out that interview. Hi, everyone. I'm John Maxey, and today I'm joined by Mrs. Dunstan, and we're going to talk a little bit about the Ben Franklin Scholar Award. How are you doing today? I'm good, thank you. All right. So can you start off by telling me what the Scholar, Ben Franklin Scholar Award is? So the Benjamin Franklin Scholar Award is celebrating their 10th anniversary of doing this. It's a writing competition, actually. It's a writing competition that's open to students in their junior year of high school. Okay. And uh, you just said it was for juniors, but is it only for juniors? They are for juniors only, and juniors all across Pennsylvania are entitled to um, write an essay for this Scholar Award. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, how's the actual uh, contest work? How do students you know, find out about the essay, what are the requirements for writing it? Okay, so for the essay, the essay can be no more than 750 words, and students have to look at this quote and talk about the modern day relevance of a Benjamin Franklin quote. I'm gonna read the quote All for right. you, just so students are aware. And the quote states, think of three things whence you came, where you are going and to whom you must account. So students have to use that quote and write the modern day relevance of that quote in no more than 750 words. And it's a Ben Franklin quote every year? Yes, it is. Okay. Not the same quote, a different quote every year. Okay. Yes. Do we usually have Northtown students enter each year? Yes, but you know, there should be more students who are interested in winning this award in, in the writing competition. Okay, and you just mm -hmm. talked about an award. What is the award for students? Oh boy, okay. <laughs> so there are three prizes. First prize is $6,000. Second prize, $4,000. And the third prize winner will receive $2,000. Now, if that isn't an incentive, I don't know what else is. And what's that prize in form of a scholarship or just money? That's going to be in the form of a check. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can you uh, think of any recent memories of... Uh, or as far back as you can of a Narsan student getting first, second, or third? No, I don't remember. I think we had one student who won an award. Okay. And what happened was they were, um, them and their family, had a, they had a luncheon, mm -hmm. and they were invited to come to the luncheon and also a dinner at night. And everything was paid for, and that's where they received their award. I think we had a third prize winner at one time. All right, very yes. nice. Mm -hmm. Now, who's in charge of creating these essays? to figure out who the winner's gonna be? Well, I think it's the Pennsylvania Society. And um, they also score, and they decide who the winner is. Now, for, our, for us, they give the students a rubric to go by. So when the students are interested in um, the writing competition, they would come to the main office, and everything will be there for them. Uh, the quote, the um, amount that they would win, the requirements, all of that would be there in the main office for them to pick up. Okay. Now, do the judges strictly follow the same rubric that the students were given? Yes. Yes. Okay. That's what we're being told. Yes. All right. Now, when's the deadline for this essay going to be? The deadline is October 25th. Okay. So if students are interested, they need to come and pick up an application so that they can win that award. And where is it at again? Where they main office. Up? Ask Ms. Henning. Ask for myself. Um, it'll be laid out in the main office uh, here at the high school. All right. Got one last important question for you. Yes. Why should students be entering this contest? You know, Why not? It gives them another opportunity to write, and writing is so very important for students as they move on to college and career. Number two, students will be able to um, have some extra money in their pocket 
or use that money towards college or whatever they would like to use it uh, towards. So, I mean, it's a great incentive. It's a great writing competition. It's open to all juniors across Pennsylvania. And if you're a junior, get right on it. Sounds like a great idea. Do you have anything else you would like to add? No, that's it. All right, thank you for joining me today. No problem, thank you. I'm John Maxey, and I just talked to Mrs. Dunson about the Benjamin Franklin Scholar Award. Juniors, if you're interested, please go down to the main office and ask for a form. Now back to the Eagle's Eye.